hello friends welcome to today's video um i have no idea how long this video is going to be but i thought it would be interesting to kind of document this experience and as you see by the title it is our experience trying to get pregnant and obviously i have no idea how long it will take but kyle and i um really felt that god wanted us to start trying um very soon we came to this realization it's currently april 18th i think and we came to this realization at the end of may and we'll kind of go more into depth about that but uh just the feeling that we were supposed to start trying was like just like really getting stronger and Kyla and I both said we wanted to wait probably like at least another year from now to even start trying but then that just didn't didn't feel right um and for me it was like happening pretty quickly like I was wanting to try earlier but for Kyle he was still like nervous about it and still wanting more time and then after church one day we talked about it and I was like, we need to talk about having a baby because we need to figure out if we're going to go on this cruise or not. And we need to make a decision here. And see. we had that talk after church. And then he was like, honestly, I do feel like in a Holy Spirit unction that we are supposed to start trying soon. And so, hands up. Hey, I'm just trying to get in his dad's closet. Uh, maybe I'll just have kyle sit down and talk about his experience as well but anyway we were both being convicted um to start trying and i was like he was like when do we start trying and i was like oh, i think asap and so um we got back on christian healthcare ministries and their rules are i believe it you have to be you can't conceive if you want the pregnancy to be covered, the baby has to be conceived. Don't give me attitude. After like talking about it and praying on it, we're like, okay, I think we're supposed to be, start trying like very soon. And this is kind of a side tangent, but me and Kyle, a few weeks before that, I pulled up like a birth calendar because Kyle and I's birthdays and our anniversary are all within like a month of each other. So we're like, it'd be nice to have a baby like not close to um those dates and it almost feels just like naive talking about this obviously we know that we don't have that much control over when we get pregnant but it's i still think it's fun to plan and dream and hope for yeah our ideal situation and so we were just looking at all the months like the time frames to start trying if we wanted to have a baby like maybe in the spring or summer and the first month that would allow that is to conceive in may which is next month and so it all just perfectly lined up and yeah we got on christian healthcare ministries and the rules for that i believe is make sure to double check this because i don't know if anything would have changed but you have to have conceived the baby um, at least 30 days after being on the plan. So May 1st would be 31 days of being on the plan. And that is the week of my ovulation, according to my Flow app. But something even crazier just happened. This morning, I got my period. And it's three days early, which is really weird. My period's usually, like, right on time. I was very surprised that it was early. So I, like, tracked it in my app. And then saw how that affected things so originally my ovulation was gonna start on may 1st and end like i don't know may 9th or may 10th and i literally was gonna be out of town that whole week i'm going to arizona going to a bachelorette party in north carolina um so we were like okay we'll just try on the first and then i'll be gone the rest of the time um and like the prime ovulation day is like in the middle of my trip 
but I just updated the calendar and my prime ovulation day is now on the first which is the one day we were gonna be able to try so I don't know that's just crazy to me if we actually get pregnant on the first it will be definitely a god testimony because that is just so weird that my period came three days earlier to line up where my like very fertile day is the only day that we can try in that window so we will see how that plays out but i thought i would show you guys a few things that i'm taking like supplement wise for fertility and just my hormones and everything and a huge disclaimer anything i share in this video is just my personal experience obviously do your own research talk to either a doctor or some kind of medical professional that you trust um i am simply just sharing what i am taking for my personal decision and my personal approach which is trying to support my body as naturally as possible so i was actually on birth control for a lot of my life um since high school so probably around the age of 15 or 16 i got on the pill i wasn't the most consistent in taking it but i was definitely on it for years until college or after college when i got the implant in my arm um and there is a really great educational episode called the truth about birth control by the freely rooted podcast i'll have that in the description but uh, i've been really trying to educate myself on the effects of birth control and i know one of them can really impact your fertility which they do not tell us when we are being put on it which i just think is so sad that they don't properly inform young women about the side effects of birth control and so now no matter what you decide i'm not it's your decision what to do but um if you can make an informed decision that's all i would ever want because i was not informed um i wasn't even informed on how pregnancy works and like i don't know when you're young they just like you feel like you can get pregnant at every time of the month like it's it's like very i don't know likely that you'll get pregnant um, and then as I've grown up, I realized there is actually specific days and windows that you can get pregnant. So I've been doing research on that. And anyway, I have been taking steps to, once I got off birth control, I took a lot of steps to balance out my hormones afterwards. And then now that I know I want to try to conceive soon, I've also been taking some supplements and herbs to support that as well. And I think it's never too early to start. I wish I started taking this like a year ago so even if you're not planning to get pregnant soon I feel like anything that will help your hormone levels and reproductive system is great especially after birth control because a lot of times um, it can it can just take a long time for your your body to heal after that so if you can do some extra things to help supplement that healing journey I think that's great and that's what I've been trying to do so that leads me to what i've been taking the first thing is vitex i took this um after i got off birth control and this made a really big difference in helping balance out my hormones afterwards um this is like a commonly used herb i've heard in like europe and other places that kind of promote more <laughs> natural medicines um but yeah it says it is a traditional support of female monthly cycle um it is derived of a fruit um and yeah i just take one to two of these a day and i research to make sure these are also not only good for balancing hormones but also good for fertility and they check that off i did watch a really good educational video on herbs for fertility which i will link in the description um the next one i got is this it is from organic olivia and it is a natal nourish fertility formula and this is a blend of herbs i have the exact ingredients list out here you can go check them out on the website to see kind of what's included but stuff in here i take this 
two to three times a day. I think it tastes good enough to just drop in my mouth, but you can also just mix it with tea. I also mix it with my morning repair drink for my gut, which is another thing. I did a whole 12 week gut cleanse before this and anything you can do before trying to conceive to just heal your body will always be good. Um, and then the next thing I take is this liver juice. Now, this one was not under the pregnancy safe category on the Organic Olivia website, so I'll probably take this after conception, but this helps to detoxify your liver. And this actually helps detoxify your liver, which actually supports a lot of functions in your body, and one of which is to promote healthy hormones. So I also take this two to three times a day. Um, again, the taste is good enough to just pop it in my mouth. I do like the taste of this one a little bit better. Um, another supplement that I used to take that I've kind of like replaced th this one with, um, was Hormonal Changes by Dr. Christopher. I took that with my Vitex when I was getting off the pill and both of those seem to make a big difference. Um, so yeah. Uh, another thing I think I will probably start doing is red raspberry leaf tea. This was recommended by a herbalist and um, she said it's really great for fertility um, and also taking it throughout your pregnancy but she said not to take it during the first trimester because just want to be extra careful during that trimester so I will probably start taking that. Um, I need to find a place to either order it or buy it on island so we will see. I'm not a huge tea drinker but maybe I can get behind it for the cause. Um, there's also a couple books that I've bought just to learn more. Um, so we will see. I can show those like later on after I start reading them and kind of just share what I think of them so far. Um, but yeah, I think that's all for this little segment. So I wasn't supposed to get my period until the 21st and it actually came on the 18th, but with this period date, my ovulation would have been the first week of May with the best day being May 5th. But since my period came today, But when I updated the predictions, it literally switched and made the best day to conceive May 1st, the only day that I will be in town um, during my ovulation. And literally the first day when it comes to our healthcare that we would be covered. So I don't know. Who knows if it will happen that day? But I just think it's pretty crazy, that timing. <laughs> Hello everyone. Okay, so I think the last time I talked to you was explaining the supplements I've been taking as well as my fertility chart and how my ovulation day got changed. So Kyle and I were able to try the 1st of May before I left for my trip. So we did, I just got back from my trip yesterday and I'm supposed to get my period in five days. So I can technically take a test. I have some of the early ones that it says like, tells up to five days before your period. So I didn't know if I wanted to take it or wait a little bit, like just wait until I miss my period. But Kyle leaves Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, which is literally the days I'm supposed to get my period. So, I'm thinking about taking a test now. But here's the thing. <laughs> Guys. So, throughout my trip, really I felt like the only... Obviously, I was probably more hyper aware of my body during this time, but I experienced a lot of like cramping that feels like period cramping, which I usually only get the days leading up to my period. And then yesterday, um, on the plane, okay, so I got sushi from the airport. 
I don't know if you guys can tell I'm just a little bit out of it right now um okay I got sushi at the airport and then during my flight I was trying to eat the sushi but then I just started feeling like grossed out by it and so I stopped eating the sushi and then I tried to eat some of the other snacks that they have on the plane but I like kept feeling nauseous every new thing I was trying to eat and then by the time I landed I felt really nauseous and so I landed at like 4 p.m. I think or 3 p.m. and I literally was just so exhausted my body was aching and so I went to sleep last night at like 5 30 p.m. and slept like I think I got like 12 hours of sleep last night I just could not get up um, but here's the thing. Some people from the wedding I went to got COVID and so I could potentially have COVID. I'm also thinking I could potentially have gotten food poisoning from that sushi because it just, I don't know, something about it tasted off. And the symptoms I experienced all yesterday, like full body aches and just like feeling nauseous and like I needed to throw up all night. That's how I felt last time I got food poisoning. So, or I could be pregnant. I don't know. There's like, there's so many possibilities. <laughs> or it could be all three. I took two at-home COVID tests. Both were negative, but I also scheduled one for tomorrow morning. That was the earliest they had it. So then I was thinking, well, maybe I'll just wait till after my COVID test. But I don't know. Should we just do it? Should we just take it now? I didn't really want to take it while I wasn't feeling well. Ugh. Like I want to be in like good spirits when I take it, but I feel like these days, since you hear so much about people struggling with infertility, like it's almost, I almost feel like naive expecting to get pregnant on the first try. You know, like, I feel like that's insensitive somehow, or, like, we're, like, told not to be hopeful, you know? And I feel like I always follow up, like, oh, we're trying, but we have no, you know, like, I always say, like, we don't know how long it's gonna take. So, I don't know if I've just, like, kind of trained myself to expect it to take a long time, but then, like, I also, if this... You know, we feel very strongly that God started, like, telling us to start trying, like, ASAP. And then, like, even before, which I don't even know if I told you guys that story. We can tell it in, like, we'll tell it later on. But it was definitely, like, a Holy Spirit shift that happened for us to start trying, like, May 1st, exactly. But I don't know what that means. I don't know if that means he wants us to conceive May 1st or you know, it could take longer, so he wanted us to start trying the sooner. <sighs> I guess I should just take the test and find out. Five days before your expected period, so... Okay. Okay. We're gonna do it. I'm nervous. God, I just thank you for your will and your perfect timing. I just pray that you prepare my heart for whatever the results are. Um, just pray peace. Pray that you would be here with me so I'm not taking this alone that you would just come into this space and just be here with me. And you got a sock. Pray the test results would be accurate. This is so like you. <laughs> this is so like you. All right. Jesus be with me. And thank you 
If this is a child, thank you for this miracle. And if it isn't a baby, that's okay. Because <laughs> I have a big baby. Right behind me, right here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go take it. Let's see if I have to pee. Are you interested? Are you interested? Are you excited? <laughs> oh, you're making me feel better, Hansi. You're making me feel better. All right, she's wet. I just, my aim was a little off. And so I think I got pee like where the results are displayed. <laughs> Uh, which, I don't know if that's gonna invalidate it. To you are, to you are, love by. Alright, the moment of truth. Looks like a hard no. You smell my pee? It's a no, Hansi. Oh, that's kind of sad. Well, we will see if I get my period or not. We will see.